Okay, so we're going to be using islands and rafts. And you might remember this from course one when we were trying to collect bananas and we had to go to all the islands instead of all of the bananas. So let's see what we're working with. So go to P. All right. This go to all is a new one. So they're taking our go to function and our for loops and turning it into a new function for us. So before we would write a go to function and then we would say, like down here in our code, instead of go to all islands, we would say for I and islands, go to I. Now we're combining the two. So our for loop here is for S and stuff, turn to S and not step one. We know that we, we can't do that. We know it always needs to be step distance to and then S and then it should run. Nope. Hold on, it will run. I'm gonna show you. I literally just caught myself. It's either gonna give me two stars or one star. Yep, they want me to use my functions more. Right, I explained it and then didn't do it. So not for S and stuff. We don't need to write turn to and step distance to because we have go to. We write go to and then S. That's what we needed. Just like we did before collecting our matches. For M in matches, we wrote go to M. We're doing this for all stuff now. And that just means that we can use go to all with absolutely any object and it will work. There we go.